Hi beautiful beings, my name is Brittany and today we're going to be sharing about YouTube and making videos. I've been making YouTube videos, wow, oh my gosh, since 2012, I think, or 2013. So just about seven years, let's say seven years. And what I wanna share about is why I think it's so powerful to make videos. And YouTube has been an amazing platform for me. So specifically why I really recommend if you're feeling drawn to it, making YouTube videos. And as a side, as an offshoot of that, maybe that's Facebook videos for you, or maybe it's podcasts, or maybe it's writing a blog or whatever it might be. Videos in particular, I think are incredible. Audio, incredible too. Written word, still so powerful and they're all powerful in different ways. Recording videos and sharing them with the world has been such an epic part of my transformational journey. I feel more myself than ever, and I know that a huge part of that is the reflection I get here, the self-reflection. Sitting down to make a video with yourself? Wow, when I first started it, it felt so weird and so foreign and hard. It was hard to be with myself and to imagine what I could be perceived as by others. It was also hard for me to feel connected with myself and therefore connected with you. Now when I sit down, I feel like I know that this is where I drop into myself and I know this is where I drop in with you. And one of the reasons I feel like it's so easy for me to record now is because I feel so connected with you. And that starts from within me. And in the beginning, sitting down and not feeling that way and wanting to feel that way was so powerful. It was powerful for me to see all that I could grow into there. I also spent a lot of time editing my videos in the beginning. Now I pretty much just do one take videos and I don't tend to edit them. I just put in my intro, my outro, and don't watch them again. Sometimes I do, but in general for the business structure I have right now, that's what works best for me. In the beginning, I felt like I need to edit a lot. I remember, maybe you've seen this video if you've been following me a long time. I did a what's in my wardrobe, my minimalist wardrobe video. I was living in Costa Rica at the time. I remember I was wearing this blue dress. I spent, gosh, I wanna say about two hours recording that video and then probably another two hours editing it and then watching it You know, so many times while I was in that process and afterwards. And that's how I felt in the beginning, that recording a video took me so long. And I was constantly in my head wondering, did I do that right? Was that okay? Did I say like and um, or you know, did I do weird mannerisms? And then not being able to be present because I was so in my head and feeling like I wasn't connected and really wanting to share connected moments. So many things, so just, epic amounts of reflection just for the process of recording the video and then another epic amount of reflection, the process of editing the video, watching it back, and then sharing the video. Wow, to be able to birth something like that into the world and be open, just to be open to that landing for others, however it lands for them, is so powerful. For me, what that feels like I'm saying is, yes, Brittany, <laughs> yes, show up and share what feels really alive for you, imagining that it must have value for others. And what type of value? That's really none of my business. What my business is, is that I showed up and did what felt inspired for me. That was my point of creation. And now I birth it into the world and being open to whatever that is for others has been so powerful for me. And noticing how that feels for me. Oh, they really liked it. Oh, cool. Oh, not as many people liked it as this other video. Huh, that's weird because I felt like this one felt more powerful for me. Oh, this feels more powerful for the world. Huh, okay. Well, like, what does that bring up for me? Should I start recording videos that are more in, like, more geared towards that? Should I do what feels right for me? Like, wow, infinite possibility for reflection there. And then there's responses that 
don't necessarily always feel good. Wow, that person did not like that video. That person didn't agree with what I was saying. That person thought I rambled too much. That person just said something mean. Wow, so many opportunities. And that's been really powerful for me to see what that brings up within me. How does that feel for me? Do I have space for that person's experience? <sighs> Not always. I haven't always had space for that person's experience. And that's been really powerful for me too. Knowing like, do I have space for that right now? Do I want to hold space for that right now? Does that feel growth promoting and helpful for me? Or maybe I birth a video and then don't look at the comments at all. Maybe I do look at the comments. Maybe I respond to them. Maybe I really sit with a couple comments that feel challenging for me to receive and then notice like what I what I can learn from them where I'm not where I'm not having space for other people's experience where I'm wanting people to feel different or maybe I'm sitting with a really beautiful comment and really taking that in so as much of that process as I feel feels right for me at any given time I can be a part of that too I've learned so much about how I show up in the world how I speak <laughs> there are I've had infinite possibilities to refine language. That's been huge for me in refining the language I use. It's really changing the story I'm telling myself about my life, which then changes my life. Finding I use filler words such as like or and um, yeah, so uh, and then other words that feel like they can detract from the potency of something like just, um, and noticing in the beginning when I was using words like should or just how things felt, how I was showing up, how I could change the way I was presenting to the world and therefore showing up for myself internally. Just, wow, infinite amounts of reflection and now I'm thinking extra about language and wanting to offer you even more powerful realizations I've had there. I believe I did make one video on language and I'd love to do more on that. I have a lot of exercises on my website guided towards that because, which I'll link down below, because it's been so powerful for me. So, recap. YouTube videos, making videos in general, doing podcasts, writing as well. Such a great place for reflection. No matter what, if you're feeling like you have a desire to start a YouTube channel, no matter what, I believe that the process would be really powerful or could be really powerful for you. And I highly recommend it. And just showing up for yourself and <laughs> saying that I'm worthy that what I have to share is important and valuable and birthing that into the world, putting that on YouTube, pressing publish, putting that out to the world. Wow, what an act of self-love and self-confidence and what a gift to the world. So, gift to the world because then anybody that resonates with that has the ability to sync up with it. I hope that this has been helpful for you if you are considering something like this or giving you something to think about if you haven't been considering something like this. Maybe even inspired you to just start recording, voice recording or video recording on your phone for the act of, of the power of it. You get it. You get it. This has been powerful. This is awesome. If you want another tool for self-reflection, self-growth, in addition to those exercises, which I'll link down below, I also recommend checking out any number of my programs. The Simplify program is a good overall one for self-growth. Healing Jealousy is powerful if that's an area you want to dive into. Moon Cycle Magic is a great one if you're looking to reconnect with your menstrual cycle. Creating Epic Relationships is a great one if you wanna do that alongside another being or even with yourself and really focus on relationships in your life. So I have a ton of offerings over on my website. Check it out, sending you so much love. Mwah.